Today I'm going to become more familiar with Fusion 360's manufacturing tab so I can make this tray on a CNC. I started by modeling the tray in Fusion 360 and I kept it pretty simple so the cam wouldn't get too complex. I defined the material thickness as a variable just in case the stock wasn't exactly 3 quarters of an inch. The outside dimensions were 6 inches by 8 inches and all of the pockets had a half inch between each other and all of the outside edges. When I do the fillets you can see I miss a couple corners but I'll eventually figure it out and come back to fix it. All of the fillets inside of the pockets had a radius of a quarter of an inch and that's just so it matches the quarter radius of the bowl bit that I'd be using to cut them out. Now I'm not going into any of the details for my tool pads since I have essentially no idea what I'm talking about, but I'll link to videos below by Evan and Caitlin and Winston Moy if you want to learn more about CAM from people who have far more experience than me. But essentially my process consisted of three steps. First I'd adaptive clear the pockets using the bulb bit, then I'd 2D contour the main body, and then I'd use two parallel finishing tool pads to make the fillets on the outside edge. Once I had cobbled together my tool pads based on my limited knowledge of what I was doing, I grouped the tool pads together based off the bit that I would need for each one, and then I post-processed them so I can take the G-code over to Easel to send to the CNC. I cut down this piece of scrap to just over the size of the tray that I wanted, then I took it over to the CNC and used the Z-probe so I can find the top of the material. After that I manually homed X and Y so I could start the first operation using the bulb bit to carve out the pockets. This went well in the end, but I think I kept my depth of cut a little conservative for this cut. I could have definitely gone more aggressive. After the pockets were done, I switched over to the 8th inch end mill so I could do the contour cut and the fillets on the outer edges. The finish on the fillets for the outer edges looked a little rough. I think next time I'll try decreasing the step over between each pass so that way I can try and get a smoother finish right off the CNC. Overall the cutting went well. The only issue was the wood being a little warped which meant I had to break it free on the top part since it didn't cut all the way through. The end mill also left some marks so I sanded the tray up to 120 grit and then put down two coats of spray lacquer since I didn't have any polyurethane on hand. I also put these foam feet on the bottom so that the tray didn't slide around when I put things down. Overall I think this turned out great considering it was my first attempt at using CAM in Fusion 360. It was definitely a good learning experience for my next CNC project. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with some more projects that you may or may not think are cool, but I will definitely enjoy making.